Hey everyone, welcome to another installment of Harry Potter Theory. In today's video, we're going to be discussing Hogwarts, The Sorting Hat, The House System, Gryffindor, Slytherin, Ravenclaw, Hufflepuff, and the cast members of Harry Potter. Now, at this stage, we must all know the houses of our favourite Harry Potter characters, like Draco in Slytherin, Hermione in Gryffindor, and so on and so forth. And if you don't know, well, I don't know what franchise you've been watching. However, what I want to explore today are the houses of the respective actors that played these iconic roles. Harry Potter is played by Daniel Radcliffe. Is he a Gryffindor? Is Tom Felton, played by Draco, actually a Slytherin? How do their real personalities line up with their on-screen personalities? Are there any discrepancies? Is anyone just like their character? Well, today, we're going to be looking at 15 cast members and answering these very questions. Let me also preface this video by saying that these 15 actors have either confirmed through interviews and or social media that they're in the house I've mentioned, or it's been confirmed through Pottermore. No porky pies here. And before we dive in, let me just quickly remind you of some of the defining traits associated with each house. This is best explained in the words of the Sorting Hat. By Gryffindor, the bravest were, prized far beyond the rest. For Ravenclaw, the cleverest would always be the best. For Hufflepuff, hard workers were, most worthy of admission, and power-hungry Slytherin loved those of great ambition. Anyway, let's get started. Number 1. Harry Potter, Daniel Radcliffe Kicking things off in spectacular fashion, we're going to start with the character that the story is centered around, our very own Harry Potter. Harry is of course played by actor Daniel Radcliffe, and it just so happens that Radcliffe eliminated confusion surrounding his actual house in a 2014 Reddit AMA, where he said the following, To me, I absolutely think I would be in Gryffindor. But there's never any doubt of that for me. Yeah, I like, maybe I'm just biased because I've played one for so long, but I could never picture myself in any other colors. It makes sense that Radcliffe and Harry sort of melded into one, particularly given the duration of the role. However, I will also say this, there is plenty of early on-set behind-the-scenes footage available for the Harry Potter films, and Daniel always seemed to be up to something. Perhaps Daniel, at least in his earlier years, was more of a Slytherin? Maybe the Sorting Hats analysis on Harry could very well be applicable to Daniel as well. 2. Ron Weasley, Rupert Grint Ron Weasley, who played Harry's best friend and later Hermione's husband, was played by the one and only Rupert Grint. Grint, who plays a Gryffindor in the series, actually took the Pottermore quiz in 2016, expressing that it was very in-depth. And as it turns out, Rupert is in fact a Hufflepuff, not a Gryffindor. He had this to say, Oh yeah, no, I feel pretty good, he said. It wasn't what I was expecting, but that's really clever. Yeah, I love that. And I don't know about you guys, but I always felt like Ron sort of skirted on the line between Hufflepuff and Gryffindor. So perhaps this was just another example of Grint's perfect casting. Number 3. Dean Thomas, Alfred Enoch when the official Wizarding World Twitter issued a sorting challenge in late 2021, Alfred Enoch, who played Dean Thomas, was one of the first to dive in. And, as it turns out, Alfred, much like the character he plays, is a Gryffindor. He had this to say of his sorting. Something that fills me with a nice warm glow. I'd always imagined I'd be a Gryffindor as a kid, so it was nice to have that confirmed. 4. Nymphadora Tonks, Natalia Tina Unsurprisingly, Alfred Enoch wasn't the only actor to participate in the late 2021 sorting challenge, as actress Natalia Tina, who plays Nymphadora Tonks, also revealed which Hogwarts house she belongs to. Nymphadora, who usually just goes by Tonks, was a proud Hufflepuff in the Harry Potter series, and, as it turns out, Tina is also a Hufflepuff. After finding out the result, Tina celebrated her house by saying, We are badgers and loyal and hardworking. Number 5. Flitwick, Warwick Davis Warwick Davis plays Professor Phileas Flitwick in the Harry Potter films, also, less notably, Griphook. Flitwick's character was known for many things, his mastery of dueling, his teaching of charms, and perhaps most notably, being the head of Ravenclaw House. Alongside Tina and Enoch, Davis also ended up being sorted during the 2021 sorting challenge, revealing that he too had been placed into the same house as his character. Davis was a Ravenclaw. Perhaps the casting for Harry Potter was even better than we previously thought. 6. Bellatrix Lestrange, Helena Bonham Carter Bellatrix Lestrange, Voldemort's infamous right-hand woman, was expertly played by actress Helena Bonham Carter. 
Based on the insanity of her character, one might assume that it would require an actress who, at least loosely, resembled this character. And though many on this list ended up being sorted into the same house, the same certainly cannot be said for Carter, who was sorted into Hufflepuff House. In fact, core aspects of Hufflepuff House, like being loyal and true, are entirely befitting of Carter. 7. Minerva McGonagall, Maggie Smith Though Maggie Smith, who plays Minerva McGonagall, has fairly openly expressed her disinterest in discussing the Harry Potter series in more recent years, we do fortunately have some idea of the house she'd belong to. And that's because her Downton Abbey co-star, Laura Carmichael, revealed in an interview that Violet, Maggie, would have to be Gryffindor. This isn't proof of her house, but it does give us some idea. 8. Draco Malfoy, Tom Felton In the Harry Potter films, Tom Felton plays Draco Malfoy, a cruel, prejudiced, cunning Slytherin, and Harry's tormentor. However, as it turns out, Felton couldn't be any more different than his theatrical counterpart. In a 2015 tweet, he said the following, Today was the day. I finally did it. I joined Pottermore and was sorted into… Gryffindor. Heartbroken. Hashtag Slytherin for life. However, that wasn't the end of Felton's sorting story, as later he took the sorting quiz once again, revealing that he's now a Hufflepuff. He captioned his Instagram post, A sad day, on so many levels. Hashtag Harry Potter at home. 9. Neville Longbottom, Matthew Lewis Actor Matthew Lewis played the mild-natured and later exceedingly courageous Neville Longbottom, a proud Gryffindor. He was a Gryffindor through and through, even going on to wield the sword of Gryffindor. However, as it turns out, Lewis is a Hufflepuff. In 2016, he took the Pottermore test on camera and said the following, I got Hufflepuff and I'm thrilled, he deadpans. No, I am. I'm really happy with Hufflepuff. Of course I am. Excellent. That's cool. Wicked. 10. Ginny Weasley, Bonnie Wright Ginny Weasley, Harry's love interest and the sister of his best friend Ron, is played by Bonnie Wright. In 2016, alongside several other cast members, she did her Pottermore house test on camera. Guys, I'm a Gryffindor, said Bonnie Wright. I feel very relieved. I feel proud. Can't say I'm surprised there. 11. Luna Lovegood, Ivana Lynch Actress Ivana Lynch plays Luna Lovegood, the eccentric Ravenclaw student who is known for peculiar behavior. In 2016, Lynch had her own house results revealed on camera, which prompted her to shout in excitement, Gryffindor. Lynch also added that she was thrilled, but also, like, not surprised. 12. Hermione Granger, Emma Watson Hermione Granger, Harry's trusty friend and Ron's later love interest, is played by none other than Emma Watson. In the past, Watson has shared her opinion on which houses she believes the Hamilton cast members would belong to. However, she herself has never revealed her own house. With that said, Watson did make a post on Instagram in late 2021 where she revealed that her character Hermione was her favorite fictional character of all time. Maybe that's because Emma sees so much of herself in her character. If I had to guess, I would definitely say she's a Gryffindor. 13. Weasley Twins James and Oliver Phelps The mischievous Weasley twins, Fred and George Weasley, were played, respectively, by actors James and Oliver Phelps. In the story, the pair are both Gryffindors, sharing a house. But in real life, that's not the case. In a 2020 interview for Wizarding World, James revealed that he was in fact a Hufflepuff, adding, which is cool, but even cooler as I actually have a badger living under my shed, where Oliver remained a Gryffindor, just like his character, remarking, I was putting Gryffindor, which I was very happy with. It helps when you already have the uniform. 14. Severus Snape, Alan Rickman Severus Snape, head of Slytherin House, was expertly played by the late Alan Rickman. Rickman's performance as Snape was one of the best in the series, particularly as Rickman was so very much unlike his character. I found a few sources expressing that Rickman had in fact been sorted into Ravenclaw House behind the scenes, but I'm not sure they're credible enough to completely go by. I thought I'd leave this one up to you guys. Which house do you think the late and great Alan Rickman belong to? Comment below. 15. J.K. Rowling J.K. Rowling was responsible for writing Harry Potter, the series that we all know and love so much. She created Hogwarts, The Four Houses, and The Sorting Hat, so I for one was exceedingly curious about which house she belonged to. As it turns out, during a Harry Potter web chat many years ago, Rowling revealed that she was in fact a Gryffindor. I logged on, 
I'm now on Pottermore as a regular user. That's how I check what's going on, even though I'm not going to give my username. I went through the sorting. I had a moment. I thought, hey, I'm not sure if I answered the questions, but I answered honestly to get me into Gryffindor. But yes, I am in Gryffindor. And that's it for this video. What do you guys think of these sortings? Do you find it interesting that most of the actors were sorted into the houses of characters they played? Is that coincidence? If you want me to theorize on the houses of some of the other actors in another video, then leave a comment down below. Until next time, remember, happiness can be found even in the darkest of times, if one only remembers to turn on the light.